Okay, I would mentioned some advanced things we can do with generics. I'm going to um, make use of the real um, Java collection classes. Um, so list and all that. import it and I'm going to import it from Java Util. So this is the real list interface. Um, <clears throat> it has some subclasses. Um, most commonly you're actually going to use this thing called a uh, array list. So an array list is a linked list that's implemented with an array. What? Uh, so um, unless you have a really good reason not to use an array list, um, I would strongly suggest you use it. Um, for the most common cases, it's going to be, even, even though it's got a little bit of slowness to it when you have to grow things and all that, like you want to add and it's filled, um, it winds up being, you know, okay. Uh, if you were like always inserting in random places in the list, it's probably not the best choice, but that's not a typical behavior with a list. Um, how an array list works is it follows the same interface as a list. Um, and it looks like it's a, a list that you know you can just add a node to at any point in time or anywhere. But behind the scenes, it's grow. It has an array, and if uh, the array runs at a array runs at a room, I believe it, it'll be implementation defined. But it will double in size. So let's say it starts off as ten. Once you add the tenth element, uh, you go to add the eleventh. It will double it to twenty. You fill it up to twenty. It'll now double it to forty. Right. Um, so it doesn't have to add. It doesn't have to grow for each item you add. It wastes a little bit of space, but it's uh, efficient uh, overall. Um, it's faster to iterate over an array than it is a, a linked list. So it's um, generally, generally we spend a lot of time iterating over lists um, and not as much time creating them. You don't generally create a list to have it. You have a, you create a list to do something with, and that do something with typically involves iterating, and you quite often do it more than once. So fast iteration is important. Um, if we want a linked list, all we have to do is say new linked list instead. But we don't want that. We want an array list. So let's write a method. Um, let's go ahead and see what its uh, two string looks like. Go ahead and run this, and then we'll write a method to add them all up. Okay, so that's how they that's how they present it. So this is the, uh, we're going to go through the list and get each item out of it, one, two, three, and four uh, are the items, one at a time. And we're going to say that the sum starts off as zero, <coughs> and the sum plus equals the item. And we'll return the sum. Fused with the method name. Make it static. Right, so this should print out four plus three is seven, plus two is nine, plus one is ten. So it should print out ten. And indeed it does. How cool is that? Um, 
So that's a you know simple way to deal with a list. Um, but now let's change this to a list of longs instead. Uh, you'll notice this doesn't work. That's because this is using something called boxing, auto boxing, and it's taking an int and trying to convert it to a long, and it's not able to do that. So the compiler actually does something like this: um, integer dot value of one, and that's an integer, and we're trying to add it to a long, and an integer is not a subclass of long, so it doesn't work. Um, so one way we can fix this is to do one L. And of course, the problem here is that we now have to make have this to be a long, um, and this is now a long. And we'll try it and see what happens. Works. Um, what this actually does is call dot int value. Um, that's part of the other boxing piece. So we wind up just doing, dealing with that. But I really want to have my I have two lists. And be able to sum sum them both. So if you didn't know you can do this, you can refactor rename and fix the, the typo. And it will fix it everywhere. And I will change this to int list for all these. So now my problem is that I want to call this sum function, sum method, and it can't because it takes a long, so I'm going to have to do this. And we don't need that. We'll just say M. And it's unhappy because we can't actually do this because um, we can't have the you, you saw that thing briefly maybe about type erasure um, I told you before that it doesn't really make a whole new class it just has one class and uh, um, there's some trickery it does and it can't do its trickery when we just have two things with the same name different return types and different types in the list so it, it's not able to do its job so we can't actually physically do what I want to do which is I want to have some work for a sum that works for integers and a sum that works for longs. It's just not going to happen. Um, we can't make it work. The only thing we could do is call this like sum int and sum long and change the method names here. But forgetting that, and forgetting this at the moment, this is exactly the same code, right? It's duplicated. I don't want to have duplicated code, so I don't even want to do this to begin with. So I'm happy it doesn't work. Um, all I need to do is declare that this method is generic. And now I have a new problem. We can't do plus equal on just arbitrary classes. Say that we passed in a list of colors. We can't do plus equal on colors. Um, remember, what it's actually doing is calling this um, int value. But int value doesn't exist on every single class. It actually um, exists in the hierarchy. We have integer, long, float, and double, and they all have a parent class called number. So all I have to do here is say that t extends number. And now because number defines that there's this thing called an int value, it'll work. And now we have our thing work for both of them. One works for int, one works for double. So if I change this to be that, just to show you for sure that it's working, one's 100, one's 10. Um, so we're able to write a simple method, and we're able to actually specify that there's a limit on what kind of things you can pass to that generic type. It's any type that is a number. So I could declare float or long or integer or double. And it'll all work. They'll all just wind up calling this int value version of it, which is again defined in number. So if I tried to do this, I 
Okay, that works, but if I try to do it as a string, that won't work because string is not a subclass of number. So we're able to do two things here. We're able to make a method that is generic all of its own, and, we're, and that'll allow us to limit what kind of things we can pass. And um, so those are two things. We can make a method that's generics, and we can have generics be uh, limited in what they can take. So we could do the same thing here in our original code, which is we could say that t has to extend number. which is now freaked it out for some reason because I've misspelled extends. Right, t has to extend number, which means list has to, it's t has to extend this number because we have to be able to limit t to number, right? It's happy. And now in our main, this doesn't work anymore because string is not a number. So you can specify, you can limit those things in the class, right? You can, you can specify that this has to be a number. We can make t be anything and the list says it has to be a number, uh, we can not limit either of them, in which case the main can do strings. And we can do the same thing at a method level. So we can say that this method takes a generic, and we can say that that generic has to be limited. And that's quite common with these, because you do generally need to call a method. Um, and you have to be able to make sure the method exists. If you just have t, it's almost the same as saying t extends object. So you can only access the methods that are available to object, and that's those methods there. The hash code equals to string get class notify, notify all, wait, and wait with a couple of different parameters. That's all that uh, object supports. If you need to call a specific, specific method, it's a t extend string. Um, now, that's fine. We can do whatever we want with string things, right? All those string methods are available, but we can't pass in the int versions. So we get a lot of uh, ability to make things um, uh, type safe, which is exactly the point of doing generics.